Hello and welcome to Sirtis Major. This is Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. Forge Alliance Forever is a 3v3 version. Uh, we got some teams. We got Freshie here playing Cyber and in the middle on his team has got Esperanto as Aeon and uh, Chevalier as a Seraphim. So no EEF on this bottom team. We have Voice of Reason playing as Cyber and EEF as Papa Tuna. Two very good players here. And yet another uh, Cyber player, New Pride Rice. I'm predicting a spider from this one, although I have not seen what happens in this game. So looking at this map in the middle, a whole bunch of sieves, pretty large chunks of mass we can get here. Only protected by Tech 1, although a Tech 2 onto air. Uh, also a few sieves to reclaim here, plus a lot of mass extractors. Really for a 3v3, uh, three main choke points. Gonna see Voice of Reason here going against Chevalier. It should be a pretty good battle. Voice of Reason very good with Cyber. And up on top, Esperano. Or, uh, yeah, Esperano playing uh, against New Pride Rise, Aeon versus Cyber. And probably has a little bit of an advantage early on. But we'll see who gets uh, the mass in the middle first. Here with Papa Tuna playing EF, looks like going second air. EF has a huge advantage with Tech 3 PD on maps like these. Although their missile launchers are really weak. This is one good thing to do on this map. Since uh, you are starting in a position where you're kind of in a ditch. And you eventually want to make it to this choke point. So instead of walking there, just build a factory there from the bottom. What you want to do is first have a move order so it's close. And then make the factory. Instead of making a factory, then it'll walk around. Hopefully that's clear. Also one thing to note about this map. A ridiculous amount of mass to reclaim here from these rocks. Never want to re neglect that, and here come first scouts. This one from Voice of Reason. One thing not to forget about these. So it's paused at this point. You can make sure you make it cloaked, uh, so it can't be seen by radar. But it's at a negative 10 power. Usually people don't do that. Now fresh, you're coming out with his ACU. And it looks like he's going to try to get to these sieves. What you really need is an arty if you want to get there. Looks like uh, no plans. You actually pop a tuna here coming out as well, making some tanks, and some early uh, hunters now from New Fried Rice, it's coming in, it's going to put some pressure, we're going to see hunters versus flares, very even numbers, this uh, scout here from New Fried Rice needs to help out his units, otherwise these flares are going to have a huge advantage, out on the bottom, tanks versus Manti, and you can see how the Manti's got those first shots with the radar, Pretty even battle now with numbers for Chevalier. And here it comes, looks like uh, Papa is going to try to get more factories here on top. Actually, quite a few factories planned. Still no attacking civilians here. Number three, absolutely no air. Nobody went first ground. It looks like this hunter here, very uh, effective for new fried rice. Kills this engine. This engine usually gets a factory up on this hill. Good work, but these uh, flares do sneak in, they can do some damage. Uh, we are seeing a Jester from Loop Fried Rise. Jester, great great to see that. Perhaps a little late, but given that this bottom team has absolutely no air, I expect good things from that Jester. If it uh, goes, it's a little slow. Now we are seeing Artie coming out from Papa Tuna. He can start attacking these PDs. There's really f a row of three PDs you want to kill first. And this Jester is just not doing his thing. Looks like a second jester now from, it looks like uh, it's a jester spam and new fried rice it wants to keep these hidden so he wants to move these out uh, at a certain point perhaps an ACU snipe will be interesting to see if it's successful. Here up on the bottom uh, voice of reason pushing up. He has now finally secured uh, the area. Chevalier is in the area as well. So both ACUs here on the bottom choke point very aggressive. The ACUs here up on top not nearly as aggressive. It's been on and all bit out of his base. New Fried Rice still back at his base. Now moving out. We see some attacking from New Fried Rice. Now with three gestures. Working on the fourth. Now still no attacking against uh, these PDs. Pretty methodical. Now some scouting from Chevalier. Not a good place to uh, fly here. Plenty of flag from the sieves. 
Now we do see these scouts from Freshy. Uh, these gestures, you really don't want to be found out, but it's possible that they did just get found out. Well, so far, it looks like that we're going to see a fight. Chevalier pushing up with his ACU. Voice of Reason working on power, power generators, still no upgrades. I expect a uh, gun and stealth from Voice of Reason. He's known for doing that. And here come the jesters, look like with five jesters, sixth one. They are now coming out, absolutely no escort. And here come interceptors from Fresh. It looks like Freshy found this out. And this is gonna be devastating from Noob Fried Rise. He had a good idea, but looks like these just snuck by. No radar here from uh Esperana. These jesters are gonna start getting kills. Interceptors, no still jesters. No, it's all jesters. That's uh, so the first loss here for new fried rice. Now the gestures are going after the hydro. They will do some damage before they get killed. We see Esperanto switching to flak. Killed off the hydro. But now the interceptors from Fresh will take care of this problem. Actually, tech to mask structures will be a huge loss for Esperanto. Actually, multiple tech to mask structures from Esperanto. And uh, at least one of them will die. But that's pretty suicidal from gunships going against interceptors. So uh, minimal success. Now it looks like there was a fight here between Voice of Reason and Chevalier. Chevalier with four kills, Voice of Reason with none. Perhaps slight numbers advantage now for Chevalier. He's got a number of factories. Looks like a nice tech one land spam. Plus some bombers coming out. So really minimal uh, losses here for Esperanto considering he was completely unprepared totally bailed out by his ally. If he didn't have Freshy here, Esperanto would be completely dead. One thing to note about New Fried Rise, absolutely no land. These units can push further if they want to. Looks like the New Fried Rise getting an upgrade, perhaps the gun. And Papa Tuna is now into the middle. He has broke through. He's about to get some good mass. Freshy has not killed off his PDs, however. Now they are shooting against Tuna's units. Tuna's actually got the gun upgrade on his ACU. Well, it'll be interesting to see and here on the bottom. Chevalier now with uh, seven kills. Voice of Reason here upgrading in the face of the enemy. Stops the upgrade now it begins retreating. He is in a lot of trouble. Quite a bit of trouble here for Voice of Reason. Uh, it's not clear if Chevalier realizes how much trouble Voice of Reason is in and uh, Voice of Reason is retreating. Looks like he just dodged a bullet. There's a PD that he's fighting instead. She kills it now. Pretty pretty amazing stuff here on the bottom. Massive energy spam from Freshy, but the middle has been completely lost. And Tuna is going to get a huge advantage for his equal. You already see he's got a lot of uh, Tech 2 mask extractors. Now working on Tech 2 power plus some black. Noob fried rice. Stealth and the gun on the ACU. No voice of reason actually pushing back. Oh, he's got. Take 2 PD now, so Chevalier did really lost that chance to kill Voice of Reason. And that could be a, a big turning point in this game. We see Tuna just ran through the middle. He's got Tech 1 units plus gun. He's got Tech 2 on the way. Tech 2 engineer around the middle. Absolutely no mass problems. Fresh has got to be worried. He's got quite a bit of economy here at Tech 2 factory. A lot of PGENs. Now his ACU is down quite a bit in health. And facing Tuna's ACU with a gun, I think Freshy is about to die. That was a huge turning point. It could have been from Voice of Reason dying. Now it looks like Freshy is going to die. And these uh, Tech 2 engineers for Freshy are not able to get a PD up. Looks like it's going to be some help from Esperanto. Esperanto now attacking New Pride Rice, runs into some Tech 1 PDs, plus very good ACU here from Rice. He's not going to let anything happen. And now some hoplites from Voice of Reason. After dodging this, he's going to come out in a very good position against Chevalier. Fresh retreating with 13 kills. Tuna is going to get a lot of mass from killing quite a bit. A very important chunk of uh, Fresh's base at Tech 2 Land Factory. And this Tech 2 Land Factory now going to take 3 for Papa Tuna. He's had so much mass might as well. He's also got plenty of power. Nice air spam. Uh, looks like a uh, Every everybody on this bottom team is sending units to the middle, trying to help Freshy out. See some units transported in from uh, 
Chevalier, but that's just going to be extra kills for Papa Tuna now with 19 kills. Nearly full health. More units transported in. And up now a Tech 2 Flak. And a Tech 2 PD by a Papa Tuna. New prize right, making his way to the choke point, Merit 10. Spirana here, going to Tech 2 with land. Has a few Auroras. Aurora is a paper against the Cyber and ACU with gun upgrade. Uh, Tuna is retreating. There's just too much tech one, although he's absolutely no danger with that ACU. Have a bit of an air fight here. I think Fresh he will be able to take it, but he is flying over some tech two flak. Although it looks like that flak was dead. The Chevalier on the bottom here with 24 kills. Fighting against T2 is some bit of a trouble. Plus we see stealth fields with the hoplites. A lot of dead units for Voice of Reason to pick up. Uh, new fried rice, 33 kills. Great work from him. We've seen obsidians and an upgrade for uh, Esperanto's AC. Obsidians, not the best way to counter um, AC with a gun. You want to get an NG and uh, take two PDs plus shields. It looks like Tuna has retreated. It's still uh, a lot of uh, mass here. It's about to kill a tech 3 power generator. It's going to be like 2,000. To reclaim this is about 3,000. Now here comes Tech 3 land. We see a Tech 3 NG. If we see T3 PD here in the middle, that's just going to be devastating in this game. And here comes Nuke Fried Rice, followed by a few scouts. Now with 38 kills. Amazing. This Flares has been controlling these mass characters the entire game. And now we see the pushes and all the choke points. Although this choke point is very secure now for Tuna, 58 kills. Well, what's the plan for Freshy? He still has his uh, Tech 2 factory, amazingly. But as soon as we get some PD here, Tech 3 PD, all this is going to be dead. He is making some wangers. The great amphibious tanks. Very close to being uh, an obsidian, of course, they're not quite as strong. The voice of reason now pushing through a tech 2 PD creep with the cyber and ACU. So you get an upgrade. Tech 2 land, it looks like tech 2 uh, gunships from fresh. You will see how successful these are. Tuna now getting his first tech 3 PD, and this is a excellent unit in this game from UEF. Here come the gunships. They are going to be facing a whole bunch of tech to flak. This snipe attempt is not going to be successful for Freshy. See how quickly these will die. Looks like they are targeting the flak first. Still plenty of flak though for two. Now if it was a single flak, that would be successful to a certain degree, but you can see gunships are disappearing. Uh, radar, uh, a shield being constructed by Tuna. And this flak right here with five kills already. And a successful shield constructed by Tuna. No chance to kill him at this point. Looks like Fried Rice has retreated with 39 kills. And this is going to be good defense from Esperano. Take 2 PD and shield. And on the bottom, uh, trouble for Chevalier actually. Uh, pretty low health, retreating, good base from Voice of Reason. As soon as he gets the base here, he can start firing directly into Chevalier's base. And Chevalier is going to die. Not too much hope here for the bottom team that had the attempt to go with the gunship snipe, but ran into a very good ACU here. Yet another upgrade for Tuna's ACU. A whole bunch of Tech 2 PDs now from Freshy. Tech 3 PD is finished two kills. Taking out NGs, that's pretty devastating. There's a Tech 3 NG, he's going to get another Tech 3 PD creep while on its way. Voice of Reason continues to move forward. Wangers, take two PDs, hoplites, ten kills on some of these hoplites. Nice tech to flak, a good tech to uh, push. Here come gunships from Freshy once again. Uh, 
And now this Tech 3 NG is in danger of dying from that PD. It's gonna run away. So Gasparano is trying to push against New Fried Rice. That's not gonna be successful with this Tech 1. Shields in Tech 2 plus the ACU and now 50 kills. Although Esperano is using this opportunity to push with his PD, so a good move from Esperano gets a Tech 2 PD plus a shield. So that base now from Move for Rice will be destroyed. Good move. And now this shield uh, is dying to Tech 3 PD. And you're getting repaired now for uh, Tuna. Some Titans. And some missile launchers. Tech 3 missile launchers. It's a devastating missile uh, launcher there from. UEF. I see a lot of these flying. It looks like New Fried Rise is going to counter with his ACU. Takes out the shields. Not targeting the PDs. They're being pretty successful. Looks like this uh, base with plenty of tech to PDs uh, has survived for New Fried Rise. Now New Fried Rise is going to have to retreat. Get another Tech 3 PD now from Tuna. And even more gunships. So, Fresh has controlled air most of this game. Just hasn't really been able to make it count. His allies have been dominating, especially Voice of Reason here versus Chevalier. And it's funny, given that Voice of Reason was dead at one point in this game, if Chevalier took the chance. Uh, tuna here with UEF. Yet another upgrade. The Titans are rolling through. So one interesting thing here is you got this uh, ledge of the mountain. He can hide behind it, perhaps. You can hide from those uh, Tech 3 PDs, but now Titans versus Tech 2 gunships. to get tech to uh, transport from new fried rice drop something off but whatever it is it's dead voice of reason continues to push through and this is the inevitable uh, fact of life if you lose the stop ledge if you're playing on certus this is what's going to happen to your base you're going to have pd shooting directly in your starting position oh, i see some hoplites there as well so chevalier is uh, very close to being done Uh, yeah, this this factor is gonna die as well. Tuna now about to get uh, yeah another upgrade. This missile launcher platform. It's got to reload. It's gonna shoot a lot of missiles from there. Yeah, that's a shield. That's gonna be an impossible ACU to kill. Spirana now making uh, missile launchers. Stick to missile launchers. Tech 1 is pushing against Freshy. Freshy has taken his ACU back at his base. Actually, Freshy's got Tech 3 power, making Tech 3 gunships, Tech 3 air, reclaiming his Tech 2 uh, power generators for mass. He's got plenty of mass here, plenty of power. But mass is probably a problem. Actually, some Othams now from Chevalier. This is what he's been working on this entire game. Tech 3 land. These are going to be successful for at least a little while against this tech 1 spam but tech 2 PDs here devastating for voice of reason looks like RD is the plan for Chevalier now Freshy fighting with his ACU now with 18 kills and this tech 3 PD will be devastating from Papa Tuna be able to hit all these units in Freshy's base they are seeing ASF Bad things happening for the bottom side. The voice of the reasons getting some uh, shields. Uh, try to establish a nice base up here. He does have to worry about Artie now. Twenty-nine kills for Chevalier's ACU. He is getting hit by Tech 3 PD, and uh, he's got to retreat. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt. No 
probably going down to less than a thousand health, four hundred health. He's got to do some dodging. And there it goes, uh, the first loss of the game. Shall he gets too close to take 3 PD. And it is a 2v3. Fresh has to do something crazy with these gunships if there's actually strategic bombers now. If he has any kind of chance of doing anything. Voice of Reason is about to roll through with these hoplites. Looks like there was a give, but these units should disappear shortly. A tech 3 land bricks from uh, Voice of Reason. And uh, roaches from Noob Fried Rice. Perhaps he's going to do something funny. Been a very even battle here, Noob Fried Rice versus Espirano. A good move from uh, Noob Fried Rice was canceled out by Freshy. With the Jesters. And that unit is from Tuna and Freshy's base. Strad Bombers. It's a bad situation to be in if you're uh, Freshy. Trying to get some Tech 1 PDs. Losing mass extractors. The multiple colors in your base. Some valuable mass extractors destroyed there. A missile launcher fight here from this Piranha trying to hit Noob Fried Rice, but that's not very successful. Take 2 power plus stealth. And we got some transports full of units here from Noob Fried Rice, so it'll be interesting to see what he has planned. He's going to drop directly to Freshie's ACU. This could be the uh, the Ghetto Mercy. I think this is going to be the Ghetto Mercy. If that's what I think it is, well, we won't even find out. That's tragic from Move Fried Rice. Some ASF there from Freshy. But I think that was all roaches. Doesn't really matter, however. Speed this up slightly. Freshy now losing health, and here come. Uh, the best tech 3 units in the game from Papa Tuna, the Percy's, put Freshie out of his misery at minute 22. It's a pretty good game for a 22 minute game. Aspirano will lose shortly. Trying to get tech 3 land. He's going to get tech 3 engineer. Maybe a GC. Perhaps. Like the player is saying there was pretty bad lag during this game. But Nasperano's uh, base getting ran over by the Percy's. Then he won't have much real soon. Looks like it is the GC that is planned. Well, might as well, if you're losing everything, go out in style. I'm not pushing out with his Tech 1 force against Tech 3. See Percy surrounded by Auroras. He's got a lot of damage per shot, but not too many shots. Bricks are much better for this. Now it looks like a brick was uh, transported in by Noob Fried Rice. And there it goes, Esperanza. The game's over at minute 24. Hopefully, people enjoyed it.